Okay, well, welcome. This is Jane Rowe with the Healthy Connections Up Biz team, and I'm here tonight uh, with Bob Rowe, Matt Rowe, and Renee Meyer um, as presenters. And we are super excited to share lots of great information with you about how to support yourself and your family for a stellar school year. So I'm going to just hand it right over to Bob and uh, he'll take it away. Okay, thank you, Jane. Uh, we always start with our disclaimer because we are not medical professionals. We are sharing information to empower others to take responsibility for their own health and the health of their family. Young Living is all about vibrant health, wellness, and taking charge of your own lifestyle and wellness choices. The information provided in this class is for educational purposes only. It is not intended to diagnose, prescribe, or treat any condition of the body. If you have any major health concerns, consult your healthcare professional before using these products. So why does our team even need to have educational classes like this? Because many people are unaware that there are hundreds of hidden chemicals in our personal and home care products, in which most do not even have health and safety data. Many chemicals that they do have data on shows that they can cause asthma or in endocrine disruptions. Endocrine disruptions refer to our hormone systems. These disruptions can cause a variety of issues ranging from cancerous tumors, birth defects, and other developmental disorders. Your skin is your biggest organ and your first defense against toxins, and it's important to know what is in the products that you put on your skin, as well as that children are unable to release these toxins as efficiently as adults. We believe that when you reduce toxins and give the body the natural support that it needs, the body is then powered for optimal performance. Tonight, we hope that the natural alternatives that we be, will be discussing will give you a little more peace of mind when it comes to your little ones and find out how easy it is to make simple changes in your home to support wellness for you and your family. So why Young Living? Well, Young Living is a 20 plus year old company that has grown to be the world's largest distiller of therapeutic grade essential oils. Their seed to seal commitment to quality embraces responsibility, responsible sourcing, extensive science, and extremely high standards. The essential oils and oil infused products that we will be discussing tonight are Young Living. Please note that not all essential oils are created equal. Be aware that many essential oils out on the market have fillers and possible harmful chemicals added. These other companies are not required to put full ingredients on their labels. This is why we choose Young Living, because of their exclusive seed to seal process and high standards. If it's in the bottle, it's on the label. Safety. Always keep oils out of your eyes and ears. Dilute with a carrier oil such as coconut, olive, Young Living's V6 oil for some of the hotter essential oils like cinnamon or oregano, for example. Dilute essential oils when using with children. Always start out with a small amount to test and avoid sensitive areas. If you do get some into your eyes, then put a carrier oil around the eye for dilution. Don't flush with water because it will just spread the essential oil around more. Also, avoid topical application of citrus oils if you'll be out in the sun. You can always ingest your citrus vitality oils in a glass, steel, or ceramic container instead. I'll now hand it over to Renee. Thanks, Bob. Hi, I'm Renee, and I am not a morning person. I struggle with mornings and my kids do too. They do not get up all full of energy, ready to go. I know some of you have kids who probably are morning people and get up at five and they're just like up with the sun. That's not our family. We need a lot of help. We, um, so I just wanted to tell you a little bit about our morning routine and, um, and just say that for many people, mornings can be the most difficult time trying to get their kids up and off to school. So we have a lot of tools that we use um, to help us. I like to start my day, even most days before I go out and greet my children with a little bit of joy oil or a lot of joy oil. So after I have my joy 
fullness going for my day. And that's a real word. Um, my morning routine then continues. I will go and grab my boys and we always start our day. It's really important to remember that after we've been sleeping for nine to 12 hours, our body has been fasting. It has been, and it, so it, what it needs when we wake up is water. It needs that water to get going. So we like to start our day with one drop of lemon or lime or any of the citrus oils in a small glass of water. And we drink that before we eat anything else. So um, that's a great way to start. Another way to kind of lift our spirits in the morning is uh, how about diffusing lemon and peppermint in the kitchen while we're eating breakfast. Energy oil is a great one. You can kind of apply that on the back of their neck as they're getting their backpacks on, getting ready to get out the door. I also want to just highlight, I also always, add thieves essential oil to um, our morning routine before we get dressed. We kind of sit down, we put our thieves, we roll it on the bottom of our feet, and we have our immune support for the day to help us fight those extra germs that we're gonna get on the school bus and at the school. So now I'm gonna pass it over to Jane and she's gonna share some healthy nutrition. Well, thanks Renee. Um, healthy nutrition. You know, all the increase in chemicals and things out there, our food has been infiltrated with, you know, whether it's GMO, all that kind of thing. And so it's really important that we're checking labels. And um, there is research out there that talks about that gluten might not be the very best thing. There's a book called Brain Grain by Dr. Perlmutter. So he's got some uh, kind of alarming statistics there on gluten and how that is affected with dementia and some, you know, all kinds of different things, both for kids and um, of course, as people are aging. So be sure that you're reading labels and do some more research on that. Um, our brain, you know, is made up of fats. And so we want to make sure that we're giving healthy snacks that will power your child's brain. So some examples would be celery sticks with almond butter, uh, maybe throw in a few of those wolf berries because uh, they've got such great high in fiber and everything. And uh, hard boiled eggs could be another suggestion. Uh, carrots and cucumbers, and then have them dip it in guacamole dip. And that's how you can get that healthy avocado in them. Um, of course, Young Living's got all kinds of nutritional supplements. One is called Omega Gize, and it contains the three fatty acids, the DHA, EPA, and ALA, that are all uh, super important for our brains. And we have, of course, you can see on here, Mighty Bites for the kids and Mighty Zyme, which are both um, excellent to support digestive system, which of course, there's a lot of research out there. If you've seen our uh, Dr. Wanker's symposium presentation on the gut and brain microbiome, basically research shows that gut health is extremely important to your brain, let alone all the other body systems. So be sure and reduce gluten and increase pre and probiotics and eat those healthy fats, lots of vegetables, things like that. And, you know, just make sure you're checking any supplements. Of course, we use Young Living, but you may want to check other brands before you use them because they could be filled with a lot of fillers instead. Uh, our favorite, absolute favorite um, supplement actually from Young Living is Ningxia Red. And it is because it just supports the whole body, um, you know, every system of the body gets supported. It's pretty tasty. It does not take much at all. And it's just a super easy thing to, you know, pour an ounce or two and have that in the morning. And uh, I will send it off. I think Bob is next. Yep. Okay, next we're going to talk about empowering teens. Ah, the teenage years. It's definitely a special time of brain development as their brains transition from a concrete to abstract thinking. They confront challenges, pressures, and stresses with a brain that is not fully developed yet. The prefrontal cortex doesn't fully mature until 24 to 28 years of age, hence the sometimes poor decision making. As parents, how can we help with their social, academic, and emotional health? Let's hear a short clip of what Patty McLean presented at the 2017 BioCode Essential Oils Symposium on some steps to help empower teens. So the big ideas in this presentation, based on all of that, 
is really just to foster empowerment. So many young people that I work with feel powerless. And I work with kids on both ends of the spectrum. So I have some kids who are in recovery, who struggle with self-harm and drug and alcohol abuse. And um, I have a lot of kids who are just really high achievers. So they're overachieving perfectionists and they, they don't give themselves a break or they're so caught up in the culture of comparison that they forget to slow down and give themselves credit and just be kids. So throughout all of that, both ends of the spectrum, there are some common denominators, interestingly, and Young Living is a way to address so many of them. So with Young Living, we can foster empowerment, we can empower them to make good choices, empower them to understand what's in their everyday products and environment, um, I also think that for all teens and young adults, it's so important for them to understand that they have choices. So of course they have choices in the products that they use, the food they eat, but also choices in their experience. So wellness, as we know, isn't just physical wellness, it's also mental, spiritual wellness. So I build all of that into my workshops and focus in all three areas. But the idea of choices is a really important part because sometimes, especially if they're not feeling empowered, young people feel that they don't have choices, that their only choice is to do what the other kids are doing or to um, just continue to perpetuate patterns that are either in their family or in their communities. So uh, empowering them with that idea of choices is, is huge to all of the stuff I'm gonna talk about for the rest of this presentation. And I love this next part because it's a great metaphor for young living and all of the great things we do with Seed to Seal. But when working with teenagers, I found that the best approach to introducing them to the Young Living Lifestyle, or any concept for that matter, is to just plant the seeds. So a lot of young people don't wanna to be told what to do, they don't want to be forced to try things that they're not interested in. So it's super effective just to plant the seeds, and we can do that um, in a couple different ways, some of which I'll talk about in the next two bullets, but, but really it's about making them aware. So many kids I work with, when I talk to them about stress management especially, that they're not aware that they can try natural things like using essential oils or focusing on their breathing. They are just caught in this cycle of stress. And so just introducing them to little tiny skills and little tiny opportunities for overcoming things like stress are really, really, really effective. And with that, it's just about starting the conversation and making it a conversation because uh, most adults even don't really like when they are told. So in most of my, all of my teen wellness workshops, I do very little talking and I encourage them to bring their thoughts and ideas into it and sort of explore so they can figure things out themselves. But I, I do start the conversation. So I give them some um, big questions to think about. I give them scenarios or we watch videos, but starting the conversation is key because we really need to, as adults, give them that opportunity to speak and to listen to them without judgment or without feeling like we need to answer them or fix them. And that's pretty challenging, I know that for sure, but it makes such a big difference. And the last thing that makes a huge difference is just embodying the lifestyle ourselves. I can't tell you how many of the teens in my own life have been uh, influenced, inspired to try more natural things and to utilize essential oils and get toxins out of their life just because I was doing it. So, you know, nobody really wants to be told to do something from someone who isn't practicing what they preach. So by embodying the lifestyle and showing how good we feel and how well we can manage our own stress and how we make choices and how we empower ourselves, those are all the ways that we can make the biggest impact for teenagers, for sure. And uh, through Young Living, we always talk about being a product of, of the product, and this is the same exact thing, but being a product of the lifestyle. And once you get to that point, it's it's, it's so appealing that even teenagers, even the toughest teenagers, get curious at some point. They, they may not know that they're ready for all of the essential oils, but they will wonder why you're so calm and why 
you do so well with stress and all of those things that are going to be modeled for them because that's how they learn from us. They don't always learn from what we tell them, but they do definitely learn from, from what we do. And I know we say that about little kids all the time, but it doesn't really change for the older ones very much, except uh, sometimes the older ones need that conversation piece and they need to have the exposure and understand that they have choices. So. And that brings us to uh, my top 10 reasons for uh, why your team needs Young Living in their life. And this is actually a blog that I wrote a couple months ago, and I was really excited at the reception it got and how much it was shared and uh, the feedback I got because it's so hard to narrow down this movement that's changing lives on a global scale into 10 things that are gonna matter to teenagers. So um, obviously there are way more than 10, but these are the 10 that I focus on the most in my workshops and in my work, just to get them to open up to the possibilities. So the first one is to reduce stress. And this is one, as you'll see, most all the things on this list are appealing to adults as well. But um, stress is the number one thing that I see teenagers for both in my individual sessions and in my group sessions. And like I said, I'm not a mental health professional. So my workshops are purely wellness based and they're just intended to give kids the tools and to plant some of these seeds. So. There's so much stress coming at young people between school and sports and expectations for their future. And um, a lot of kids right now are really concerned about things on a bigger scale. They're coming in worried about politics and some of them are stressed out because of things happening in their families. And so I emphasize that you know there's good and bad stress. And then we talk about ways to manage stress, but young living, gives us so many things because with good sleep, proper nutrition, all of the oils that support relaxation, we can really um, give them an experience. And that is the whole key to everything here is that once somebody experiences and feels the benefits and the wellness, that's when they start to make those choices that really impact the big picture. So. Uh, reducing stress is always the area that I start with when I'm working with the teens because if they're all stressed out, they're not open or receptive to any of the other things on this list. Okay. And we'll have Matt take all over right. here. My name is Matt. I'm a recent college graduate. And um, going through the experience, you know, not that long ago of going to the dorms and being on your own, it's a little overwhelming sometimes and it's nice to have a little toolkit for the variety of tasks you may not be familiar doing every day. So Thieves is great for that. Um, just instead of a, a million different cleaners like window cleaner and you know all the different you know even laundry detergent you don't have to get all those different cleaners you can just use Thieves for all that. Um, so that's just so much more simple, and you only have to keep track of one cleaner in stock. Um, also, the everyday oils, just a variety of uses. Um, Digize for, you know, stomach discomfort. Me and many of my friends utilize that at various times. And then like nitro, uh, Ningxia nitro, which is like a little uh, easy to carry packet. You can even carry it in your pocket. Um, it's a uh, nice little pick me up before class and definitely used a fair amount of those when I was uh, tired right before <laughs> class. And also I was an athlete. So those nitros and also the zings, um, the Ningxia zings came out when I was in college. And it, when those came out, I really liked those cause it was a nice, a nice drink to carry around in my bag in between workout and class. It's kind of like a nitro. I actually put a nitro in the zing sometimes if I really needed to pick me up. Um, and also like after, after workout, the pure protein complete or the ortho sport um, were great for recovery, um, building muscle and taking care of my muscles uh, or deep relief. That was a nice carry, carry around thing for my muscles. Um, but frankincense and ningxia 
as well were two essentials that I used more often than anything else, I think, because those were the general, general health and wellness that, you know, I didn't have to be taking a bunch of vitamin pills or anything uh, to try to keep up with my bad eating habits. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. And so next we're, uh, I'm not sure if Renee is back on again or not. If she is, she can just cut right I'm in. I'm back. You are there. Okay. Go for it, Renee. Okay. Oh, well, sorry. Um, so let's talk about homework helpers. When it comes to homework, it's important to provide a space to study for all ages um, to work on their homework without distraction. So you can set up a space at home to help them focus, and that can mean both environment, like physically, you know, obviously away from the TV, away from a lot of other action, but you can also help any student focus by diffusing some of the blends you see, see here on the screen. Um, one of our favorites is Clarity. I'm actually diffusing that right now. I like to add a little frankincense to that or some lemon. And the other one I really like for my little seven-year-old is I'll make him a little roller of vetiver and cedarwood. Those two are really great oils that you don't see on here, but those are just kind of in addition to these. The Kidsense Genius, I just got this one, so I haven't used it yet, but um, I'm hoping to kind of just wipe this on the back of his neck before he goes to school every day. And then if he needs to focus a little more once he gets home, I think this will be really helpful. So we can diffuse this, but also these Kidsense oils are formulated specifically for kids. And so they are already diluted and ready to go. You don't have to worry about putting a roller or putting it in carrier oil. It's already ready to go. Um, let's move on to bedtime routine and having sweet dreams, um, kind of turning our brain off, getting, getting enough sleep for the next day. It's very important to get into a bedtime routine so we can all awake feeling refreshed and energized. Um, it's important to remember that sleep affects our entire lives. The immune system, as well as the rest of our body systems, they all need to regenerate while we sleep. So some of the ones you see here, I love Tranquil. Peace and Calming is great for all times of the day, but if you need to calm down, Peace and Calming is a great one, or your kids need to calm down. Lavender does not, you know, is, is a common relaxing oil, but it has the opposite effect on some people. Some kids or adults can kind of be hyped up by lavender, so that's just something you'll have to kind of test out. Cedarwood is always by my bedside. This one I put on my big toe to turn my brain off. If I've been up um, researching or just working on a class like this and I need to turn those thoughts off to go to sleep, this one helps me do that. And then the Sleepy Lies is a really great formulated oil for the kids. Um, going to keep that in the bathroom to kind of after we brush our teeth, we're going to go ahead and just put that on our feet and be ready for sleep. So let's talk about some of the other products in the KidSense line. Um, if you haven't seen yet, the Young Living just released the new Seedlings line, and that's um, products that are formulated for young children, infants, babies, toddlers. Um, so we're talking about a uh, baby wipes, lotion, there's an oil. These are all formulated for little infants. Again, they take all the hard work with dilution out of it for you. It's already formulated, so you don't need to worry. It's, it's going to be diluted. It's going to be like those friendly carrier oils ready for your little one. So we want to help our children stay on task, and all of these, you know, we want to soothe their skin and calm their body, uplift their senses. There are all kinds of products that Young Living has. Some of the ones that we use in our home, one of the first things we swapped out of our bathroom was the toothpaste. Um, I'm not a huge fan of fluoride, and so I wanted to get something that was um, just easier on there. Oops. Did I freeze? Are we good? Okay, so toothpaste. This one has a nice citrus flavor. The shampoo, I use this for body wash and for hair, and a little bit goes a long way. So 
this bottle we've had a couple months already and um, it smells great, works great for the kids. It lathers really well. Let's see here, anything else about those two? It's just, it's just important to remember that swap a little bit out at a time. And this is not something that we're all gonna be able to go in and just take every product out that we've ever been using and then switch to Young Living. This has been a slow process for me. I've been doing it for three years. Just pick maybe one room where you use a lot more products, say the bathroom or the kitchen, and just pick that one room and start there and slowly swap out a few of those um, toxic chemicals. So next slide, we're gonna talk about parents, teachers, and childcare providers. So I want you to think about when you go on an airplane and they tell you to always help yourself first, to put the oxygen mask on yourself and then help your neighbor or your child um, that's just a great reminder for all of us. If we're not helping ourselves, it's hard for us to help our kids. It's hard for us to care for them and support them if we don't have what we need as parents or teachers or childcare providers, or grandparents, or anyone watching over the little ones. So don't forget to take care of yourselves. Um, as you can see here, some of my favorite supplements that I use every day um, with breakfast, my super B, B vitamins, and the multi-greens. Those are two of my favorites. If I run out of those or I don't take it, I feel it right away and I know, oh, I'm low on energy. Yeah, I didn't take my supplements today. So as you can see here, there's also another great way to support ourselves is to diffuse. Here's a really nice recipe using clary sage and lavender and peppermint. Clary sage is one of my new favorite oils because um, Clary Sage helps you with the rage. So if you get a little bit of that rage with your children, I'm always like, oh, gotta go get me some Clary Sage. So I haven't tried this recipe. I literally just use my Clary Sage, but um, it does the trick. And I think this recipe would smell amazing. And here's another blend that you can make if you like to make your own roller bottles. Um, another chillin' blend down at the bottom using those citrus oils. Those are the happy oils, the uplifting oils of our frankincense grounding help you focus and um, so those are all really great emotional oils as well so let's move on to healthy home safe and effective cleaning and i talked a little bit about this already but it might be time for you to stock up on non-toxic healthy products for you and your family and here's a few products to get you started again i talked about swapping out a little at a time it's kind of overwhelming to think about whoa all these products I might have in my house that are not safe. Um, one thing that I'd like to recommend is if you have a smartphone, download the Think Dirty app, and then you can walk around and you can scan some of those products you have in your house. You can scan your bathroom, your shampoo, your laundry soap, your um, dish soap. Take a look at what's in those. You're gonna learn a lot. It's gonna have different ratings on the different products. Um, it's just another way to educate yourself on what you may be using. And again, don't, don't freak yourself out too much, but just, just become more aware of what's around you and what you're putting on your skin or what some of that residue is that you may be leaving behind when you're cleaning your house. Um, know those products. So it's important to just remember to focus on the things you can control. You know, there's a lot of things in life that we can't control, but these are a few of those things that we can. We can control what we're putting in our body. We can be aware of what we're putting on our skin, our largest organ. Those things are absorbed into our skin within 26 seconds. And then within a minute or two, that's in your bloodstream. So we don't know where all that's going and if it's accumulating or if we're, you know, getting that out of our body or not. Um, so yeah, I, I know we're kind of running low on time, so I will just end with that. And back to Jane, I believe, no, Bob. Okay, thank you, Renee. So let's talk about the best value. You know, the first way to get your best value is to become a Young Living Wholesale buyer with one of the premium starter kits. The membership is kind of like a Costco membership, but you don't have annual fees. It allows you to receive 24% off the retail price anytime you order. Young Living also has an optional program called Essential Rewards that is a sim as similar to earning, earning airline points. They basically reward the frequent buyers. 
Additionally, they always have a free product promotion each month. You can see that this month's promotion includes the Kid Sense oils. Looking a little closer, you can see that a few of these are free products only for essential rewards orders. But other, other products are available for free if you hit certain amounts in any type of order as long as the PV is reached in a single order. Looking a little closer at the premium starter kits, you can see that you have a few to choose from. They are extraordinary value. For example, the Everyday Oils Premium Starter Kit, it adds up, you save $105 off the wholesale prices if you were to purchase everything separately. Contact the Healthy Connections team member to discuss which essential oils or products that will support your family's need. We are here to help. I'd like to thank you all for joining us tonight. We hope we've encouraged you to take some simple steps to transform your home and health. Be sure and check out our future classes on our team Facebook page or website calendar. Here's to a healthy school year.